what you see scattered all around me was the the center of this the circle that was here. You can hear the the river and it's about fifty feet away. So in the when there's very heavy rainfalls and the, the water rises up, it, it floods into here. And it sweeps this clean, completely changes it. Water will circle around all around it. And, it's, and so there have been probably half a dozen circles here. And then at other times of the year from heavy rainfalls, particularly in the summer, the monsoons, the water will come rushing off the cliff that's up behind me and it'll move it and transform it and clear the circle, so to speak, clear the way um, in a different way. So sometimes there, it's predominantly all these wonderful white rocks. These are my favorite white rocks that are in all my circles. This is the only circle that is actually in the white rock. So, there have been many circles here and many clearing of the ways. And this circle has been gone visibly, visibly gone since last summer, and it's now March 6th. But the circle never goes away. Even though the visible circle seems to disappear. Even though things in our life happen. Catastrophes cataclysms, storms, people we love that die, losing our jobs, things sweep through our life and create chaos and it feels like our world is gone at times. It can feel empty. It can feel without meaning. And in that gone, it's as if we lose our connection with this because we think it's gone away. And it hasn't gone away. We've just forgotten. It never goes away. In the center, can't go away because you are the center and you are the circle. Your own immediate self-compassion is the circle. That's a presence. That's a quiet presence. That quiet presence, it can't go away. How could you go away? You can't. But these things that sweep through life and crash and bang up is if throwing us off course and I can't find the center where is it we feel overwhelmed the key is Stop. Stop thinking. Be quiet. Breathe. Be spacious to whatever is moving inside of you and the connection with what you really are. The circle as if reappears. As if but it never went away.
The circle here never went away. Even though it visibly disappears, the power of the place doesn't go away. Sometimes when it storms and I look off the cliff and I look down and I go, okay, it's gone again from here. But it's not gone. It's just waiting for me. It's waiting for me. The circle that you are is waiting for you to remember it simply by how you engage life as it sweeps through. And it's these most difficult times when it seems to disappear. When it seems that we're lost. Those are the times that it it's the most important. So I've re-established the perimeter of the circle here. My friend Amy and I used to build the circles here. And my dog Hantayo would come with us and both Amy and Hantayo are gone. since uh, after the last circle was here. So there's a particular quality or meaning in that. Anything that's perhaps left over within me that I haven't touched, that I haven't let move. In a sense, today is the day that I reestablish this circle here and and invite whatever's still there quietly it just sort of can move out so Emptiness, loneliness, loss of meaning, the feeling of it. Tiredness, weariness. Those you can let move too, but always remember that the circle is always there. It never went away and let that circle of compassion be there as you for all of these difficult movements even, even though it may seem to disappear at times it won't it won't now the center of this circle is always it's a spiral because it is about change and shifting here I lifted up some of these rocks and out from underneath the rocks, it's like all these daddy long legs came. Moving all over the place. Daddy long legs. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that Amy was terrified of spiders. Okay. All right, daddy long legs. Come on. Come on, come on out from under the rocks. And that's it. It's your circle and it's like you invite everything to come out from under the rocks and move. Beauty's being very patient. Aren't you, girl?
So today I'll put the center back. as a reflection of what's always been there. Just as I rebuilt the perimeter, a reflection, an honoring, a reminding of who I really am. So don't forget, cultivate it. Be present with yourself in the simple moments, so in the difficult moments. Even though it seems to disappear and sweep away. There is the feeling of its presence. It who you are. It's a huge heart that's at the center. So I just put the center in place. I just found the center. <laughs> It was always here. I didn't do anything. I didn't put anything in place. I made it visible. And I made it tangible with the heart. What seems so at times in untangible and untouchable and impossible to describe in our sacred ways and ceremonies and wonderful sacred circles we we make them a little more tangible so that indeed what was always there we're just honoring the honor Am I just touching this like this? Remember, it never goes away. But honor it. 
Alright. That's how you honor it. Just touch that which never goes away every day, and it will never seem to go away. circle is within us the circle is within us the circle is within us the cross within the circle there for all to see shining from the palm of his hand a message for you and me shining across the land a message for you and me Circle is within us. Circle is within us.